Hi everyone, welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about addition of fractions, which is part 2. So I already have a previous video about addition of fractions part 1. So if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link of the video in the description so you can check it first because we're gonna use the concepts that we've discussed there for this addition of fractions part 2. Okay? So in this video, we will just consider more cases when adding fractions. So let's have the first example when we are adding a whole number and a fraction. So let's say we have 1 plus 1 half. So it is easy to add the whole number and a fraction because all you need to do is to combine them as a mixed number. So 1 plus 1 half will be a mixed number only wherein 1 will be the whole number and 1 half will be the fraction. So therefore, 1 plus 1 half is equal to 1 and 1 half. Okay? Next, what if we have a whole number added to a mixed number? So what we need to do here is we simply add the whole numbers. So we add 2 plus 1, it is equal to 3. And then just copy the fractional part of the mixed number which is 1 third. So 2 plus 1 and 1 third is equal to 3 and 1 third. Okay? Likewise, 1 plus 2 plus 3 and 1 fourth is equal to add first the whole number so we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 and just copy the fractional part of 3 and 1 fourth so we have 6 and 1 fourth okay what if we have to add mixed numbers so let's say we have 1 and 2 sevenths plus 2 and 3 sevenths so what we need to do is simply add the whole numbers first. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3. And add also the fractional parts of the two mixed numbers. So we have 2 sevenths plus 3 over sevenths. So since they are similar fractions, they have the same denominators of 7. Applying the rule for addition of similar fractions, we simply add their numerators. So 2 plus 3 over copy the same denominator of 7. So we have 2 plus 3 is 5 over 7 and then we simply put this fractional part 5 over 7 to the whole number 3 so we have 3 and 5 over 7 okay likewise if we will add 1 and 1 8 plus 2 and 3 8 plus 5 and 5 8 we simply add first the whole number so we have 1 plus 2 plus 5 is 8 and then add the fractional parts of the mixed numbers. So since the fractions are similar fractions because they have the same denominators of 8, we simply add their numerators. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 over same denominator of 8. So we have 8 and 1 plus 3 plus 5 is 9 over 8. But as you can see, 9 over 8 is an improper fraction, so we can transform it into mixed number. So we simply divide 9 by 8 we have 9 divided by 8 is 1, 1 times 8 is 8, 9 minus 8 is 1. So that 9 over 8 is equivalent to mixed number of 1 and 1 over 8. So therefore, we need to add the whole number 8 to the mixed number 9 over 8 equivalent to 1 and 1 8. So just like in addition of whole number and a mixed number, we simply add the whole number. So we have 8 plus 1 is 9 and copy the fractional part of the mixed number. So we have 9 and 1, 8. Okay. Next, let's add 1 plus 2 and 2 ninths plus 3 and 4 ninths. So again, let's add the whole number. So we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 and then add the fractional parts of the mixed number so we have 2 ninths plus 4 ninths so again they are similar fractions so we can simply add the numerators 2 plus 4 over the same denominator of 9 so we have 6 and 2 plus 4 is 6 over 9 but 6 ninths is not yet in lowest term so we can divide first both numerator and denominator by their GCF so the GCF of 6 and 9 is obviously 3, right? So if we divide both numerator and denominator by 3, we have 6 and 6 divided by 3 is 2 over 9 divided by 3 is 3. So therefore, the final answer is 6 and 2 thirds. Okay. Next, we have 2 and 5 6 plus 5 and 2 ninths. 
So again, let's just add the whole number. So we have 2 plus 5 is 7. And then let's add the fractions. So we have 5 over 6 plus 2 over 9. So as you can see, this time, we are adding the similar fractions because they have different denominators of 6 and 9. So applying what we've discussed in addition of the similar fractions, we find first the LCD or the LCM of the two denominators 6 and 9. So listing the multiples of 6 and 9, so for 6 we have 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. For 9 we have the multiples of 9, 18, 27, 36, and so on. So looking at the list of multiples, we see that the least common multiples of 6 and 9 is obviously 18. So therefore, we will transform these two fractions into equivalent forms having denominator of 18. So how will we do that? So let's start with 5 over 6. So the new denominator of 5 over 6 will be the LCM 18. So divide 18 by the denominator 6 it is equal to 3 and then multiply the quotient by the numerator 5 we have 3 times 5 is 15 then plus doing the same with 2 nines let's have the new denominator of 2 nines as 18 divide 18 by the denominator 9 which is 2 multiply the quotient by the numerator 2 we have 2 times 2 is 4 so therefore we have transformed 5 6 and 2 nines into their equivalent fractions which are 15 over 18 and 4 over 18 respectively. So since they are already similar fractions, we can simply add the numerator. So we have 15 plus 4 over the same denominator of 18. So 15 plus 4 is 19 over 18. So since this is an improper fraction, we can transform it into mixed number. So we can do that by dividing the numerator 19 by the denominator 18. So 19 divided by 18 is 1. 1 times 18 is 18. Subtract 19 minus 18 is 1. So that 19 over 18 in mixed number is equivalent to 1 and 1 over 18. Okay? Now we will need to add this whole number 7 to the mixed number that we got from the addition of two fractions 5, 6 plus 2, 9, which is this one. 1 plus 1 over 18. So this is now the case of adding a whole number and a mixed number. So we will simply add the whole number 7 plus 1. So we have 8 and then copy the fraction 1 over 18. So therefore, the final answer is 8 and 1 over 18. Okay? Next, let's try to add 1 and 1, 6, plus 3 and 3 fourths, plus 7 over 8. So again, let's add first the whole number. So we have 1 plus 3 is 4. And then let's add the 3 fraction. So we have 1, 6, plus 3 fourths, plus 7 eighths. So again, these 3 fractions are the similar fractions because they have different denominators of 6, 4, and 8. So let's try to find the LCD or the LCM of 6, 4, and 8. So let's list the multiples of 6, 4, and 8. So for 6, the multiples are 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, and so on. For 4, we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and so on. For 8, we have 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, and so on. So looking at the list of multiples of 6, 4, and 8, we see that the least common multiple is obviously 24, right? So we will, so therefore, we will transform the three fractions into equivalent form having the denominator of 24. So for 1, 6, we have 24 divided by 6 is 4, times 1 is 4, plus for 3 fourths, we have 24 divided by 4 is 6 times 3 is 18. Plus, for 7 over 8, we have 24 divided by 8 is 3 times 7 is 21. Now, since these three fractions are similar fractions already, we can simply add the numerator. So, we have 4 plus 18 plus 21 over the same denominator of 24. So adding the numerators, we have 4 plus 18 plus 21 is equal to 43 over 24. Now since 43 over 24 is an improper fraction, we can transform it into mixed number. So let's divide 43 by 24. 
So, 43 divided by 24 is 1. 1 times 24 is 24. Subtract. So, 43 minus 24 is 19. Therefore, 43 over 24 is equivalent to 1 and 19 over 24. So, we will add this 1 and 19 over 24 to the whole number that we got here. So, we have 4 plus 1 and 19 over 24. So, adding the whole numbers, we have 4 plus 1 is 5. And then, just copy the fraction part, 19 over 24. So, therefore, the final answer is 5 and 19 over 24. Okay? Okay, so I think that's it for this video, addition of fractions part 2. So, I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.